six tanks on our landing craft and we moved it straight into the beach. We landed into about, in about six inches of water. Um, the, the, main, the main action had gone on ahead of us. The, the Marines had landed ahead of us, uh, but we, we were soon well in the thick of it. It was, it was an amazing experience because uh, none of us knew what we were in for. And we all had the feeling that maybe we wouldn't come back. And as we landed on the beach, we could see all around us. There were guys that had landed just before us. Some of them were lying. There were some still in the water. And the stretcher bearers were there trying to help them. But we just had to get on with it. And we just moved on out and straight up into the line and and then we were in the thick of it. My husband is very proud to be in the Normandy veteran and I'm proud of him. I'm proud of all these people that managed to survive landing in Normandy. I don't know how they got away with it when I see all these films. I'm so pleased that some of them came back. And what does today mean to you? It's nice to think that um, they're being honoured and somebody's doing something for them. I think people do forget, don't they? I think they should be reminded that they're here because of these men. <laughs> Thank you all for attending South Gloucestershire Council's contribution to National Armed Forces Day. The men and women of our armed forces make huge personal sacrifices. Defending the UK and their efforts deserve support and recognition. The residents of South Gloucestershire are joining people across the country to show their appreciation for all our service personnel, past, present and future. It sends out a clear message of gratitude. Uh, congratulations to all of you who are on parade today. You're a great credit to your organisations. Uh, you were a fine sight uh, marching down the high street, holding up as much traffic as possible. As a regular soldier, uh, I can tell you that this recognition is much appreciated by colleagues in all three services, especially those on operations overseas. We truly appreciate your support as we prosecute one of the most challenging operations in living memory. And later today, we have an opportunity to remember those who have made the ultimate sacrifice. But in showing your support, it is right, I think, to enjoy ourselves uh, on this glorious day in the park here in Bristol. Thank you. As a part of the British Gorkha, uh, I'm very proud to be joined and uh, marching in this uh, 
day with the other of my fellow veterans. And for me, I mean, it just shows that I actually care about people that are serving, people that have served, and obviously there are people that will be serving, um, and they can't just go serving without us doing something about it. So it's nice for them to know that back here we're supporting them at home. For me, it's a time to interact with um, the local community, the local community who put so much behind what I do and what, what my family does, as I'm the father of, of a soldier myself. So it's, it's a personal thing that means so much to me and my family, let alone the people which we serve. And that's what today's all about. It's about families, it's about bringing people together, and it's about celebrating what our armed forces do for us. It's so important that we remember that these, these people, these men and women, give up their lives to actually support us and to look after the security of our, of our shores and, and, and of this country. And whatever our feelings are, we can't det detract from the fact that they do a wonderful job for us as individuals. Today has been an amazing day to remember not just the people here, but the fallen. But we have to remember where we have come from, to know where we're going. And we need to nurture our children because they are, they are our tomorrow. We meet in the presence of God and commit ourselves to work for reconciliation between the nations and all people made together to live in freedom, justice and peace. We give thanks for the efforts of all members of our armed forces and we pray for their protection and wise deployment. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit come down upon us and remain with us always. Amen.